Hi, folks. It's a real pleasure to see you all again. Hey, little fella. Ha, of course I didn't forget about you all. Well, if we're all ready, it's time for another edition of TV Heaven. John, trust me. This is a show where a celebrity guest tells you what they love and hate about television. Tonight, my guest is a very funny comedian, someone I would describe as the most sensitive lover I've ever had. <laughs> Please welcome Jack D. <laughs> Thanks for coming on the show, Jack. Uh, it's a Tonight. pleasure. Would you watch a lot of telly? Well, yeah, enough enough to qualify to be on this show, I feel. <laughs> yeah, I hope. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the only criteria we go on. <laughs> Now, your first choice tonight is Pure Telly Hell. It's a show that fills the broadcasting no-man's land between telly tubbies and boot sale challenge. Yep. City Hospital. Yep. What is it you hate about this? Well, um, it seems to me someone at some point said, let's have television 24 hours a day and everyone around the table agreed that that was a good idea without actually thinking what they were going to show. And we've ended up with uh, just taking cameras into a hospital mm. uh, and seeing sick people. And, uh, and anyone who's ever spent any time at all in hospital will realise it's, it's not entertainment. You don't want to be there. Mm. And I don't want to see other people who are ill. I, I don't understand who would sit at home and watch this stuff. Uh, is it people who are glad that they're not as ill as that person? Are they... <laughs> Do they feel good because they're, they're the lucky ones watching it rather than being there? Yeah. I, don't, I don't understand it. Well, we've got a typical clip here, and it's uh, Nadia Sawala, and she squeezes a bit of entertainment from a broken arm. Now, I'm just going to go over to my, uh, to my patient here <laughs> and uh, wow him with my skateboarding. What do you reckon? It's great. <laughs> <laughs> don't you love teenagers? Um, so, uh, do you think I've got any potential? Um, <laughs> yeah, practice, though. <laughs> but then, do you really think you're in a position to have an opinion? Cos look at your arm. <laughs> <laughs> How did you do that? Um, skateboarding. <laughs> he actually looks quite sad about it, though, doesn't yeah. he? And, and everyone else around him is just laughing. Yeah. But also, have you heard her voice? She sounds like Sid James, doesn't she? <laughs> she does. <laughs> but he's not pleased to be there, really. You know, when you're in that situation, I think you're, you're kind of vulnerable and they say, OK, well, you've broken your arm, we put it in plaster. By the way, uh, we've got a, a crew in, can they come and film you? And so, what? Oh, oh yeah, and before you know it, it's happening. Mm. So he's sitting there and she comes in on a skateboard <laughs> going, ha, 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 what happened to you? And he's stunned, you can see he doesn't know what to say. He's like, yeah, I don't know, really. Yeah. <laughs> I broke my arm. <laughs> he's got to live with that. There is this one leg, we haven't got it, because um, it was just too horrible. There's one leg where there's this old fella who's got this rare bug which has eaten his penis away. Mm. And uh, she has to do a link away from him. She's going, well, thanks for that, uh, <laughs> Derek. Anyway, now we're going to over Ainsley in the kids' ward. And you just got this bloke sitting there, he's just going, I've just lost my knob. Mm. <laughs> what are you being so cheerful about? But... Sean, you know, if you were unlucky enough to have some, some uh, illness that was eating away at your penis, mm -hmm. would you go on television and talk about it. Not only would I go on telly, I'd go on tour. Yeah. <laughs> but it, I, I agree, it is telly hell, but it's been turned into TV heaven by the appearance of a new TV presenter. And watch this. All right. Hi, diddle diddy, an actor's life for me. Come in, come in, come in, come in, come in. Follow me, the old son. Come on, come on. Here we are, here we are. And look, there is a fellow thespian, Tom George. <laughs> Hello, Tom. Tom and I, we've worked together. We've worked in the studio oh, together. Right, yes. And, I mean, I always called you the Hobbit. He did. Well. He did. And yes. now you're being looked after by the wonderful. Let me get this right. And look at my notes. It's Helen Rapley, who's the chief podiatrist. That's correct. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this guy's face. You, yeah. can, you, you can see he's not that pleased to see Brian Blessed. Yeah. <laughs> After all these years, you can see he said, I, I used to call you a hobbit, didn't I? And he said, Yeah, you did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Every day you called me that, I remember. <laughs> And that's singing all the time. He's, he's, he uses singing to cover up all his mistakes. Like, yeah. yeah. Oh, love to do. <laughs> He'd be very good on the ward, sort of giving out, you know, bad news to people. <laughs> You're gonna die. But you... <laughs> You've got a few months to live. <laughs> Never mind. You can see me in Panto. <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> Um, well, let's see more of Brian in action. He's not cheering patients up, more cheering himself up, really. Oh, boom, diddy, boom, boom, why does my heart beat? Boom, diddy, boom, boom, every time we meet. Oh, look at this, my sweet darling. How are you? It's nice. I do want to give you a heart attack. You <laughs> keep my decimals down, keep my decimals down. Vera, 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 I mean, Vera. I'm coming nearer and nearer to Vera. I mean, you know me, don't you, Vera? I don't. Yeah. And, uh, you're a big fan of mine, aren't you? I am. Oh, marvellous! You've got a woman after my own heart. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, I fancy you like mad. Thank oh. you, Brian. <laughs> Incredible. Incredible. Imagine approaching someone like that in a hospital or boom, titty boom, titty boom. boom. <laughs> oh, I fancy you like hell! <laughs> Just, uh, I don't want to give you a heart attack. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, that's why I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> well, it is a bit of a come down, isn't it, for a Hollywood actor? But then you realise he's just there to jump the NHS waiting lists. The eighth wonder of the world. And my wife said, Oh, God's sake, you're not going to show your foot. This is an awful sight. It's completely deformed my right foot. However, did I climb Mount Everest and all those mountains? <laughs> that's his foot. <laughs> Don't blame us for showing that. He showed that on City Hospital. He was happy to show that. These guys would make nice doctors, wouldn't they? Look yeah. at... Uh, yeah. uh. It's an horrendous foot, isn't it? But it does make sense. You know why he speaks like that now. He's yeah. walking around going, Oh, bloody... Oh! <laughs> 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 oh. What's the move of your leg? What do you mean? You went... Oh! <laughs> oh, my trousers keep riding up. <laughs> Is it cheap suits, do you think? I wouldn't know. Yeah. <laughs> well, I have to just start to ride up. Well, let's have a look at your next choice. It's because your penis has dissolved. Yeah. <laughs> it's not holding him down there. <laughs> You're going to have to get those trousers altered. Will you, will you come and visit me when I'm in hospital? Yeah, my... well, if you like. I'll bring Brian. <laughs> 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 Let's have a look at your next choice. It's a show you can't stand. It's a knockout. What is it you don't like about It's a Knockout? It's kind of like comedy for people who don't really have a sense of humour but enjoy laughing mm. sometimes. <laughs> so they'll, they'll, they will watch someone dressing up as an yeah. alarm clock or something and, 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 and falling into a big bucket of sludge or something mm. and, and, and having, having rocks pelted at them and, uh, and think that this is something to be laughed at. Yeah. Whereas, in fact, really what you should be laughing at is City Hospital. Yeah. <laughs> We've got a classic knockout clip here. You've got mm. penguins, water, hot pants, and Stuart Hall laughing his tits off. Mm. <laughs> There's a noise he makes there. I've never heard anyone uh, make Towards the end of that, yes. Yeah, he sort of goes... Was... <laughs> He's laughing so much he's turning into a penguin. <laughs> it's as if, you know, Eddie Waring has got him in some contraption or something yeah. and he's making it go yeah. tighter and tighter and in the end he just goes... Because <laughs> <laughs> it's the noise. It's a, it's a noise of pain, not laughter. Yeah. I mean, I imagine, when you listen to it, you think, imagine if you told Stuart Hall a really good joke. Yeah. He'd just split. Yeah. <laughs> Of course, these days, if there's uh, a successful show involving the public, they do a celebrity version, don't they? Well, you know, I know what this is leading on to, and uh, <laughs> uh, this, to me, is, uh, it justifies everything I've said about the show, really? is, that is what it led on to. It's just uh, probably the worst television that's ever been made. 
Well, I disagree. I think it's the best television ever made. <laughs> In a way, the two things are the same. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Which makes this show completely redundant. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? <laughs> Can someone shoot me? <laughs> <laughs> he said it like a hitman who hasn't had a job for years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Luckily, you got the right bloke in. But at least you can say at this show, it's, it's a royal knockout, and these celebrities, they're top draw. I see the legs of Steve Cramer and Onion, there's no doubt about that. Pam Stevenson. Pam Stevenson and Cliff Richard. Yes? Pamela Stevenson, running for the blues, against Cliff Richard and John Travolta. <laughs> it's John Travolta by the Duke of York. Pam Stevenson, the one and only John Travolta, the star, the superstar. John Travolta delivers the goods, pops it in the pot. You got John Travolta chasing Cliff Richard dressed as a leap. <laughs> it's more like it should be called It's a Malarial Dream. Boom's <laughs> 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 going on. I know. Oh, oh, terrible night. Oh. And then Toy Wilcox kicked him up the arse. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, you would think it was a, it's dementia, isn't it? Except yeah. it really did happen. Yeah. And we have the proof of it. Well, some people took it very seriously. And we've got a clip here of uh, Cliff Richard, and he got a right royal rollicking for his trouble. Don't run away, don't run away, don't run away. Come here, come here with me. No, no. Cliff Richard's making a protest. <laughs> Cliff, what is, what's, what's the protest? I've changed my mind, it's all right. <laughs> No, no, no. He wasn't out of the water and she was down. No, no, he was out. But Barry McGuigan and Tessa Sanderson fought a very clean fight, didn't the audience? <laughs> That's great, isn't it? You know, Cliff Richard being pulled away from a fight by Princess Anne, it's... <laughs> it's incredible. That's why it's great television, though, isn't it? Leave it, Cliff, it's not worth it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and Jackie Stewart in the background. Oh, we've, we've all had a drink. Come on, yeah, Cliff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Come down. Well, I haven't had a drink. <laughs> she's really pissed off with him. Oh, she's utterly po-faced the whole way through. But she knows she's on a damage limitation exercise here. She's she's thinking, oh my God, you know, uh, we we have single-handedly managed to destroy the royal family with this show. I, I don't want Cliff's reputation to go down the drain as well. I feel that the nation won't be able to handle that. Not, yeah, yeah. not two blows like that in one evening. Two institutions yeah. just crumble. Mm. Well, thanks for that, Jack. We'll be back with more of your TV heaven telly hell after the break. Welcome back to TV heaven telly hell! See, it's my catchphrase. Um, I'm joined by Jack D, who's been sharing his loves and loathes on telly. But let's have a look at your next choice. It's a show you want to set on fire. It's one of the oldest running game shows, 37 years of family fun, but you hate it. <laughs> question of wool. Yeah. Uh, this is question of sport, and I... Uh, this is another show that I always loathed as a kid, and, uh... I just, I can't understand the sport thing, really. Uh, and I, I find it hard enough to watch people playing sport, but to actually watch them all sitting down, taking part in a quiz about sport that other people have done 15 years ago is beyond my imagination. It is, look at them, they're all ugly, mutton-headed, stupid, <laughs> pointless people talking about their pointless activities, their, what they do. And mm. I... I don't think it should ever have been allowed. Really? So you don't, I mean, you're not a sports fan then? No, uh, I find that, 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 that the whole trivia thing that goes with sports just um, mind-blowingly boring. Mm. And, uh, and the preoccupation with sport that everyone has that you could go to a party and two blokes will, will you know, be talking and one will think it's a conversation starter to say, how about the rugby then? <laughs> <laughs> and you just feel like saying, just fuck off. <laughs> You do. Yeah, I don't want to know about the rugby. I didn't watch it. I don't care about the rugby. Anyway, we lose everything, so who cares? <laughs> this next clip illustrates what you hate most about this show. I think what you hate about the show is that it's just sportsmen thinking, you know, oh. sitting around thinking. And uh, here's what you'd call a dull, boring silence, but what I'd call a moment of pure tension. Mm. Carl Lamy, as uh, we know, is the setting for the South, South African, African Grand Prix. Mm. But where was its previous home? Oh, 
Willie, Willie Carson's lying in wait because he found his motor racing. Not in this one. But not this one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, what do you try? I have to say round by Durban. Round by Durban? Well, that's not exactly what I want. <laughs> do you have it, anyone? Do you, do you, obviously, you want to know, don't you, where it was? I couldn't care less. <laughs> it's obvious they don't know. And, uh, you know, I don't mind watching a little bit of racing driving, but I'm just not interested where it, where it took place 15 years ago. Who cares? But if you knew, you could have answered that question and impressed everyone on the sofa going, it's actually in Pretoria. <laughs> and then you go, get some tea. Is that where it was? <laughs> Yes, tea, colour biscuits. Is that where it was? Uh, You're guessing. Yeah. It yeah. is, yeah. yeah. And are they impressed? Not very. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the noise impressed people make. That's not... It's, uh, <laughs> this is... This... When people are impressed, they don't go... Oh! <laughs> that's an impressed noise. They all went... Huh? Did you hear that? Is it all... Huh? Well, no, I would say... <laughs> I would say you have therefore never truly impressed someone. <laughs> It's when you really impress an audience, they actually do go, oh, <laughs> so you're missing out. Well, that's the old question, Scorp. You hate the modern version even more, don't you? Uh, the, oh, they, they tried to jazz it up, and uh, David Coleman came on in a skirt, and yeah. they, they, they did very jazzy titles to yeah. it, which were absolutely it's, ludicrous. It's great. I, I think you're wrong. I think they're really kicking. Football! Boxing, snooker, golf, tennis, cricket. They're all sports, you see. Are you telling me you don't like that? Yep. Uh, That's yeah. fantastic. Oh, so lame. It's like they're taking a quiz to a rave. <laughs> But you don't see Mastermind doing that, do you? Science, theology, astrology, <laughs> maths, <laughs> English literature. <laughs> pathetic. Okay. Absolutely pathetic. People wasting their lives. <laughs> Listening and watching people thinking about pointless activities <laughs> that took place years ago that no one cares about <laughs> and that we didn't win anyway. You've made me really depressed about sport. <laughs> I actually like sport. Crash the sport, I've suddenly realised it's all futile, I've been wasting my life. It is pointless, it is, it, it is. is. But, if you like it... But if you like it, it's, it's just fantastic. <laughs> uh, well, your next choice, your next choice is your ultimate TV heaven. Tinker Tailor, Soldier Spy, the classic John le Carre spy drama. See, this is when television took time to do things nicely and um, the whole treatment of that uh, very good book uh, on television was so wonderfully well done and I think it's the best, the, probably at the time, the best uh, television that's been made and to me in, 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 ever really because uh, we don't do that anymore with, with television, we don't, we don't take time with stuff and allow stuff to breathe and you know everything's got to be wham bam and you know big punch up and stuff whereas in fact the way the characters are, uh, are introduced in this is absolutely brilliant and it, it kind of, uh, it's almost a bit like uh, theatre going to mm. see a play. Well particularly the opening scene Oh, which is a famous, it's amazing. And it really does display the slow, deliberate pace. Yeah. It's a bit boring, isn't it, Jack? Well, I, yeah, see, I like this, because I'm learning about these characters. I think that's interesting. He's quite a heavy smoker. He's a heavy smoker. <laughs> Should give up, really. See, what, do you, what does this tell you about this character? He carries his tea like that. Uh. He's got very hot tea. <laughs> no, he wants to keep it hot, and that's... Keep it hot. Yeah. That means he's a Libra. <laughs> oh. oh, he's left the bloody door open. In fact, this goes on, this has started probably two minutes before we, start, before we started watching it. Yeah, the we've had to cut this down to make it more This has been cut exciting. down. <laughs> yeah, it's not finished yet. Right. We shall start. I find that exciting. Yeah. Well, what that. you need to know is basically one of these four men is a Russian spy, and to save you watching the eight hours DVD, it's him. <laughs> 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 or is it? Oh. <laughs> well, it is incredibly paced, slowly paced, and at the centre of it is the performance of Smiley yeah. uh, by, by Alec Guinness. Mm. And this is the moment where he realises who the mole is. 
and he doesn't just go, I know it is, mm. it's you, well, they're, not, they're not there obviously, but mm. he doesn't do that, he just sort of tells you by acting in his cardigan. <laughs> But he's not a very good smoker, have you noticed? Look, watch him blow it out. <laughs> That's a, that, you, they shouldn't have frozen it on that. That's not fair to Sir Alec, because they've made him look like a homeless person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he's figured something out, and we're not actually having it explained to us. Mm. You have to follow it. Yeah. I think it had just been livened up a bit if Smiley had had, like, a Chinese manservant who mm. <laughs> attacked him when he got home. <laughs> just a little thing, just something like that, just to liven it up a bit. And then he, he finishes off, smacks him in the face, and he says, go and make my tea. <laughs> and then he goes, oh, I love you, really. <laughs> but the good thing about the slow pace is when he does, when he goes to a strip club, you do get to spend a long time in there, to the point where you think, OK, we're in a strip club, let's get on with it. reason we showed that clip is we like the music where it goes <laughs> jah, jah, ah. <laughs> but even if you were George Smiley I don't think you could be that po-faced in a strip club could you yeah <laughs> you think at one point he might go hmm. <laughs> Les Dawson show off a little bit of interest yeah. I would have yeah. thought well Jack thanks for that glimpse into your TV heaven telly hell before you go is there any performance you'd like to reenact I think I would have made a good George Smiley character great ladies and gentlemen Jack D <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.